raised in Toronto. You've worked extensively in the community, volunteered. You used to write for the Metro. This is your third election run. Now, some people say that this is a publicity stunt. What do you say to these people? I say, I assure you not, this is not a publicity stunt. Okay. Enza Supermodel served its time. Right. You know, you, that's how you and I have met. Mm -hmm. We met as Enza Supermodel. We met at a party. Right. But right now, for me, I've grown up, I've matured, and I've met wonderful people with that persona. But it's time in life to finally say, to take a stand and say, I'm very serious about this. I've always been serious. Mm -hmm. Right, but I've had to uh, address the issues the best way I know how. What are just a, maybe some of your ideas that uh, to make this board better? My ideas, basically, my platform for this election is is one to put people first. It's to give people that voice at City Hall, to give them that access. People have been ignored, and the, and I think people are frustrated. They get frustrated when people don't return their calls or don't answer their. Their, their extensions and, and have that voice on the other end to address their issues. Also, mm -hmm. it's about revitalization, revitalizing the city. Mm -hmm. And it's about moving the city. We seem to want to um, ignore the fact that you know people have to work. People have to go out and play. People have to go out and visit. And we need a transit system to make sure that's done on, that people have access to an efficient transit system. And what we need to do is we need to improve the system we have now to make sure that it's continuously running well, mm -hmm. and, but also to expand it. Right now, it's just a sort of hard work to right. convince them that, yes, I can do the job, that I'm ready and willing to be your city councillor. And the fact is, too, is, you know, I may not have all the answers. Right. No one has all the answers. But... It, it's working with people to get those answers, right. right? And when people come to me and say, I have this problem, and if I can't solve it for them, at least I know, at least I know that I could put them in touch with someone who can and help them resolve that issue. So, right? why, so why not just be a citizen, a normal citizen, a member of your community? Why run? Well, why because run? you can make, you can affect greater change at the top. Right. I've always been one to like, why do I want to be at the bottom when you could be at the top to make a difference, right, right? right? And when I ran for mayor, people said, well, why didn't you run for city councilor back then? And I said, well, why would I want to run for city council when you can affect greater change at that time right. as mayor? Well, if a criminal can run for city councilor, then a, then a trans woman can run for mayor. <laughs> so why Rosedale? Well, I live here. I live in Rosedale. I've lived in Rosedale like 20 years. Mm -hmm. I've lived in Toronto my entire life, mm -hmm. and 20 of those years I've been in Rosedale. And I just simply love the area. And Rosedale, Toronto Centre Rosedale, is like the heart. It's the pulse of the city. Like it's, you're right down the centre. Yeah. It's perfect. It's where everything happens. How can people contribute to your campaign? Well, uh, we're going to be launching uh, our website, which is enzaanderson.ca, and people can donate. There's going to be a donate page on there that people can donate. And also, we'll be having a volunteer section on there where people can sign up and help out for the campaign. I was just going to say, and, yeah. And get things going. Yeah. So that's really great. How right? awesome so. would that be if we're uh, you know, the first transgender counselor in Toronto to bring all these well, communities together? Well, and, and that's why I'm great at that. Yeah I've, yeah. I've connected with all these people. Right. I know. I know my people. There have been other trans women mm -hmm. uh, in politics mm -hmm. around the world. Like other trans women have broken that political uh, mold right. and have made it into office. There's trans women that serve as mayors. There's trans women that serve as city councillors. There's one trans woman that uh, in New Zealand, Georgina Bear, that was like the uh, uh, um, deputy prime minister at one point, right? Oh, really? So you yeah. talk about the 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 um, progress that trans people have made it's phenomenal wouldn't it be wonderful to finally say mm -hmm. you know in Canada that we've had a lesbian politician we've had a gay politician and now let's let's finally break the stereotype and make a difference and have a trans woman on council what drives you to succeed and a great pair of heels how would you make the world a better place Make love, not war. <laughs>